John McCain has received a lot of flack from the right for what they perceive as his liberal leanings. Would it have been even harder for you to win the primaries because you've been so outspoken as an opponent to the war in Iraq and its aftermath and some other things? I know the, uh, the state's attorney general announced plans to challenge you if you did run because he considered you a kind of a traitor. And, um, and Rush Limbaugh has dubbed you Senator Petraeus. <laughs> So, huh? who? <laughs> I am. Uh, <laughs> William Crystal of the New York Times has accused you of, of abandoning our troops. I, I know you've called political pundits high octane blowhards, so uh, I guess. That's well, I really think sad. that suffices. Uh, <laughs> well, those uh, that you mentioned, um, I know, have had distinguished public service records. They've served in Vietnam and um, in uniform. Uh, they're so smart, they always get elected to every office they run for. <laughs> um, uh, that's all part of the system, part of the process. Certainly everyone has a right to say what they think. Uh, uh, but I'm always amused by these great prognosticators of our future. Uh, I think they cheat our country when they don't offer themselves as candidates, uh, rather than just sit on the sidelines and then uh, define everybody else as idiots or whatever they want to say. I, I think Rush should run for president. Uh, Crystal should be a secretary of state, maybe. I, they have so much to offer. It's, it's interesting that they question the patriotism of people who did serve you in Vietnam. Now, let me see if I got this right. You received the Vietnamese Cross of Gallantry, an Army Commendation Medal, the Combat Infantry Badge, two Purple Hearts. Uh, we saw Max Cleland lost arms and legs, John Kerry got, was cited for bravery. It seems to me anybody who isn't lockstep with, the, with who is supposedly politically correct at any time is, can be called a traitor no matter what he's done. Well, uh, this um, uh, definition of uh, name calling and process uh, didn't uh, just start uh, recently. I mean, uh, some of the the, the great examples of this, uh, when you go back uh, to read Harper's Weekly in the 1800s and what they said about Abraham Lincoln and uh, all the, uh, the vilification of so many candidates, unfortunately it's part of a process that debases the system. It drags down the country. Uh, it's fraudulent because when people do that, they don't address the, the real issues. That also has always indicated to me a, a very weak, bigoted mind when they do that. Obviously, they're afraid to debate on the merits of an issue. Uh, name calling is easy, and uh, it's uh, occasionally humorous, intentionally, once in a while. Uh, but um, I think, and I've always uh, taken a position that uh, these are entertainers, <laughs> and um, we like to be entertained. And they're not serious people talking about serious issues. So you just deal with that as part of, uh, of the process. But when you, when you call someone unpatriotic, uh, people, some that you've mentioned, uh, who serve their country, and in Max Cleland's case, a triple amputee. And uh, I think you know the story about uh, what I uh, did and said when uh, he was up for re-election in 2000. And two, uh, when they smeared him down there, my party, with putting his picture up on the television uh, commercials uh, along with bin Laden and S Saddam Hussein. And uh, I called our leaders at the time and told them I wanted those television commercials down in 24 hours or I would fly to Atlanta, cut a television spot for Max. Uh, I would endorse him. And I'd stay in Georgia uh, until the election campaign for him. And um, what was most troubling about that conversation I had with those two leaders was they uh, didn't object to what I said, but they somehow missed the point of the seriousness of what I was trying to convey, that this was wrong. I mean, you, you can take Max Cleland on, on any issue you like, and we're all... Uh, subject and should be. Any elected official's record is open uh, for challenge. Uh, but when you um, take any individual, but particularly someone like Max Clinton, 
and you uh, do that to them, you have crossed a line that's indefensible, that's disgusting, despicable, and that's what I called it all. And I think if more of us, not that I'm a saint here, not that I'm the only one that does it, but more of us must do this. The public must demand it. I don't care what party you're from. If the other party's doing it uh, uh, or your party's doing it, it doesn't make any difference. But